Hey, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. So we're going to have some coffee and chill before the Super Bowl and I need to make sure my sound is good. I hope so. But <laughs> we're going to continue on with talk coffee talk and at the very end of the last one, are we an alien? Is the barista, is Miss B the barista an alien? <laughs> that's, that's my question. That is my question. So let's get this started with Miss Bree, the barista. It was like the last thing uh, she was saying goodbye to um, Amanda and Neil, who is silver now. And she's like, goodbye, see you later, brother. I think that's what she said. After they left, after they left. So they didn't know she said it. So I am, <laughs> I am intrigued. I am very intrigued. All right. Let's load this puppy up. Man. Uh, they are watching a basketball game, so you might hear some background. Just FYI. Uh, let's continue. <laughs> hey, Steeler. I don't hear the... I don't hear the honey sauce. Wait a second. <laughs> I must have my my headphones down. I have them down a bit because this game is super loud. It is really loud. Um, and my nose is loud and proud with running, I guess. <laughs> How is your Sunday? Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Right away, right off the bat, my nose starts running. It's like it knows I'm streaming. It knows. <laughs> It played, but it is very quiet. Okay, that's probably because I have the um, the uh, game and stream speakers down. Because the game is loud? I don't know. That's a guess. I'm not a techie. <laughs> okay, as long as it played. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, I feel a little bit better than yesterday. Yesterday was an ick day. I seem to have more of those on Saturdays because I'm so worn out from working the week and stuff and just dealing with sides. It's just... Anyway, cancer sucks, but that's, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so, okay. Let's read the opening whispers, September 26, 2023. First Workaholics Treatment Center to open in 2024. No phone, no laptop, just rest. Can I please, can I please be a part of that treatment center? <laughs> I am not a workaholic, but I will say I am for something like that. <laughs> Hi, Battle Pants. How's it going? How's it going? Good evening to you this Sunday. Beachgoers report silver algae blooming on the Alki Beach. Um, curbing recent security breaches, a government to block data leakers' websites. Livid, hello. Okay, your sounds are low. 
that's probably because of where I set the thing. Is this game is loud? <laughs> I do like this coffee banner break back here. And I'm still, I still want to know if we're an alien. <laughs> that was, that was like a, a shocker. The last time, I mean, we played this last week. Okay, so anyone here? Amanda? Silver? Oh. Just started a new characters in Baldur's Gate 3. So what did you decide on? Right now I am a ranger and she's gonna, I think she's gonna be a ranger slash bard. This is, I think that's what I'm gonna do. But she's a uh, romancing Halson. <laughs> Cause we can. Okay, Lua. She's a 10, but about to marry a freelancing elf. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> um, um, an elf paladin. Nice. <laughs> Lua Bailey's. So she's a hundred. Oh, that's so sweet. Myrtle. The Iceman cometh. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yes, coffee Sunday. We've got we've got our coffee and our bee mug. Absolutely, freaking lootly <laughs> Do you think VR would really take off in the future? I personally can't use it for very long, but maybe that's just me. No, it's not just you, Myrtle. VR is not my thing either. Go Aqua! Having an ocean fish as a pet is so hard, especially living in a city such as Seattle, but it feels nice to have someone who depends on you, you know? Lucas? On a... Oh, busy all day today. Don't forget to drink water and coffee. <laughs> Rachel. It's coming together. I can't believe it. It's going to be so good. So she's our musician. Riona. <laughs> oh, so it's not like traffic. It's like deliveries now for Riona. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. I hope y'all are having a good Sunday so far. I'm gonna bring up my handy dandy list of coffee stuff. Not, I mean, I may need it, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll just be giving everyone the wrong coffees. Okay, here we go. Uh, somehow I feel like it's gonna be a long night. I am like also merged out. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I put on this shirt and this morning after yeah, and then I just reached over and grabbed the hat. So, hey, Miss B all the way today. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somehow I feel like it's going to be a long, long night. Or not? Do we still have anything in our drawer? Old lighter. <gasps> oh, the old lighter's still in there. Okay, good. Maybe we can give it to him still. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Hey, Gala! <laughs> you scared me. Hopefully the sound is okay. I might have to turn it down more. I mean, it's low. How are you? Not too shabby, I hope. Not again. Everything is just fine. <laughs> you sure? Positive. Yeah, yeah, the sound effects were, that's what, um, that's what Stiller said. And I think it's, like, because they might be meshed in with the game, and I have the game so low. I don't know. Anyway, that's my technical guess. How about you, sir? How's work? My shift is over, so I'm free now. Nice. That reminds me, Mr. Hyde was here just the other day. Let me scoot up a little bit. Ah, oh, that's right. Did he tell you the reason for his visit? Yeah, he's moving back here, right? I thought Gala and Hyde were a thing, but maybe not. 
Or at least that's the plan. Yes, what a nice surprise. He told me he's got a few things to discuss on that. Well, it's my part of why I'm here, I thought. Aside from getting myself a hot drink, that is. On that note, I am ready to take your order. Much obliged. So Henry told me about this Indonesian ginger drink. It has milk, honey, and a couple of other stuff in it. I think it's called Sin... Sin... SMMJ? SMMJ. I think I do have that on my list. Do coffee, coffee, plus two honey. Wait, coffee times two. Coffee, coffee, honey. Java, Java, honey. No, nope, not ginger. <laughs> Java, Java, honey. Brew. Okay. Someone's apartment key, maybe. I don't think it's Gala's. I think this might be um, Mr. Hyde's. Inspect. I don't know. Okay. No more! Hello! Hello, hello! How are you? Hope your day is well. One hot drink coming up. Mm. Is it wrong? I'm really, really sorry. Let me remake it for you. How is that wrong? I... I whip STMJ. I was looking at the wrong one! Oh no! Milk, ginger, and honey! Oh no! Well, there's my first... Yeah, I'm really sorry. Oh, why is that? When you called him early to confirm, he sounded a little... annoyed. It's not exactly great outside either. I thought he liked this kind of weather. Doing well? Good, good. Yes, his car? Not so much. Oh no. The thing wouldn't survive this kind of storm. Now that you mention it, you may be right. I used to drive him in that car back in the day. Oh, I remember the story. <laughs> Did he ever tell you how old it is? Yeah, he gave me the whole backstory. I guess I'm surprised he still uses it at all. The car clearly had a special meaning to him. He was also quite sentimental about it. Which makes me wonder if it has anything to do with him moving back here. What do you mean? He lived here before, right? Yeah. And he kept bringing up the past, too. Are you saying his move is motivated by nostalgia? I was gonna say homesickness. But I realize that makes no sense. I get what you're trying to say, though. It's a strange longing for times gone by. Considering how fast things are changing these days, maybe even too fast. Which is ironic, really. What is? Live long enough, you realize the only constant in life is change itself. Things like shifting necessities, curveballs, the world throws at you, decay. Just stuff we have to deal with indefinitely. Considering our lifespans, you would think we'd get used to it at some point. We never do. Never completely, anyway. I suppose the idea of getting used to change is a paradox in and of itself. That sounds about right. Perhaps, perhaps nostalgia is like an anchor for dinosaurs like us. <laughs> Keeps us from losing ourselves to the world's relentless speed. You get used to these after a while, huh? Pretty much. Oh, the light's going out. Okay. Oh, hey there. We meet again. Oh, Riona, yes. 
Excuse me for a moment. Got it. See if we can get her drink right. <laughs> Welcome, Miss Riona. Good evening. I'm meeting up with someone. Oh, okay then. How's your car, by the way? My car? Oh, you mean the tire. You can change the volume on the background music and... Oh, in the game? Oh my gosh. Hold on. Okay, that might help a little. All right. <laughs> I forgot. That's how well my brain's working today. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's still a little loud. But, um, yeah, I'm still. Okay. Russian tea. I thought I had already, um, done that but apparently not okay tea lemon and cinnamon let's get this right let's get this right tea lemon cinnamon <clears throat> so I have a key card in here I have no idea whose apartment key this is I almost think it's, um, hides, but I'm not sure. Russian tea for the lady. Russian to deliver. <laughs> well, that is so bad. That is horrible. Hey, she's laughing. <laughs> Oops. Gosh darn it. It's perfect. It's good. Because I screwed up on Gallus, that's for sure. So who are you meeting with, I, I may ask? You should know, shouldn't you? After all, you were tasked to give me his contact info. Oh, right. So you two connected in the end. To be perfectly honest, I actually forgot to contact him. Not on purpose, mind you. I was just really busy, you see. There were a lot of backed up deliveries to clear. Oh yeah, we all have our busy days. Yes, it gets overwhelming sometimes, doesn't it? Nevertheless, the real reason I forgot to contact him is because I've been spinning this thing to ease my anxiety. Oh, the fidget spinner. <laughs> yes, that. It serves as an effective distraction for my thoughts while I'm stuck in traffic. As such, I keep it in my car. I remember those things we were like hugely popular, the fidget spinners, for a while. Makes sense that you forgot as soon as you got back home. I feel bad, truly. I mean, you're just using it as intended, so how, how'd you end up connecting then? He messaged me through my private social media last night. Oh, I think we mentioned that to him, or he said he was going to do it. Yes, I wonder how he was able to find my account, to be honest. Not to alarm you, but <laughs> you can find out just about anything online nowadays if you know your way around. That sounds quite worrisome. Yes, concern has been raised about privacy issues. I suppose all we can do now is to consider carefully what we put out there. Right. So I assume you responded to him. I did, but it was a belated reply and it was too late for us to keep chatting. That is why you asked me to meet up here this evening. I see. What does he want from me? Guess we'll see. Hmm. Yeah, so Hyde's not coming tonight. Probably for the best given the circumstances. Is he okay? Yeah, he just wants to take it easy tonight. Understandable.
My apologies about these surges. I was hoping it'd become more stable as days go by, but no need to apologize about something out of your control. That's right, you tried everything you could. Oh, I got a nice little setup. I'm like looking at my setup below <laughs> the counter. <laughs> Thank you for understanding. How are you doing, miss? Well, I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, the revelation at the very end of stream last stream was kind of... I'm still... what? <laughs> we call Silver Brother. So does that mean uh, misbehave is an alien too? Command codes verified. Oh, there we go. That's much better. <laughs> hey, Blue River Man, what's up? Happy Sunday. Oh, did you did you manage to, to resolve your issues with children? Wait, what? With children? I'm what? Oh, I mean the hospital admission problem the other day. Oh <laughs> well that. For a minute there I thought I had a beef with kids that I wasn't aware of. <laughs> That's going better than yesterday. I'm really, really glad that I have um, the animated gremlin. It makes me feel better and it makes me want to like stream when I'm not feeling well, you know? I put something out there that's actually moving instead of my webcam. See, sorry for misunderstanding. <laughs> he had children attacking him. I don't know. This is only a few days, so not much has changed. How about you? Feeling better? Ah, yes. Well, I apologize for the way I acted a few days ago. We all have our bad days, so don't worry about it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, while we're on topic, understandable. Yeah, I. Whatever, like sci science, kind of kicked my butt. Like, not even on chemo weekends sometimes. And working full time during the week kind of wears me out a lot. But lately it's just been a little worse for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because extra allergies or something, but by the end of the week and going into Saturday, I just feel blue. <laughs> like the past month, it seems like, or more. So yeah. I get lab work done and I see my oncologist tomorrow, so we'll see if there's anything off with me. Oh, I told Officer Georgie what happened to your car. Would you mind pointing out where you believe the incident took place? Sure. It was quite near the police station, actually. At a metered spot just outside the now defunct library. Oh, the vacant building at the Bourne intersection. Yes, that's correct, I see. So it was originally a library. Ah, you know the area. Well, he's lived here, like, forever. <laughs> he knows the property. It's been abandoned for a long time now, but it's a heritage building, so I have to wonder why nothing's being done with it. Since it's located in a very populated, culture-centric neighborhood. That's true. There's even a college nearby. Right? Then again, I've always found the street a little odd. Odd how? It's just barren especially if you consider the area and the weird thing is i feel like it wasn't always that way feel oh. <laughs> hey unicorn scott hello do i have my welcome i think i do yes i do but it's not my stream deck is not working for some reason. There we go. <laughs> hey, Unicorn Scotch. Hey, everyone. How are you doing? As usual, as always, feel free to take care of yourself, get something to eat, drink, you know, take a nap, <laughs> wash the dog, pet the fish, whatever you need to do. I, I was I was lurking a little bit earlier this today. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay today. I hope things are going well with you. Uh, welcome everyone on Misbehave 8. We are chilling 
uh, with some coffee time two, the second uh, part of it, I guess you could say, part two. Um, and there's a lot of drama. <laughs> yes, yes. It's always good to see you. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, um, I was introducing myself, I guess. I stream on Saturday and Sundays only. Um, actually, actually, I will be streaming Wednesday night, Valentine's Day night, um, when I get off work. And we're going to finish Baldur's Gate 3, I think. I think. <laughs> we, are, we are pretty much at that part. Um, so, yeah, Eldritch Brains and Valentine's Day on Wednesday night. I hardly ever stream, but that weekend I have, it's a chemo weekend, so I don't stream that weekend, so... Yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, let's get back to the coffee time. So Miss B, who is me, I am the barista and I try to make coffee for everyone and I already got one wrong and one right today. <laughs> so I feel bad. And now we're talking about an abandoned historical library. And it's also one of those games where you have to read. <laughs> um, so this is Gala. Um, we're talking about the library. He says, filling not a clear memory. Strange, isn't it? That is odd. And this is Viona. Well, there used to be a flea market there a long, long time ago. Perhaps that's what you're calling. Flea market, huh? Hmm. Last time I drove there, I remember seeing nothing but concrete. Oh, wait! There was a single dead tree surrounded by strange trinkets. Okay, a dead tree, huh? No idea why I must have forgot about it. It stuck out like a sore thumb. About eight feet tall, no leaves. It's been there forever, too, as far as I know. Oh, that hawthorn tree. It was somewhat, it was something of a landmark for us drivers. And the trinkets you spoke of were actually remembrances of sorts. Remembrances? Hold on, I'm just gonna recap a bit here, okay? <laughs> sure. Your car was vandalized near a metered parking spot in front of an abandoned library. On a seemingly deserted street within a busy area that has a large dead tree surrounded by remembrances for some reason. <laughs> Sounds about right. Except the tree is no longer there. Oh. Are you serious, Pops? Oh, Lucas is coming in. Georgie is our friendly neighborhood police officer. That is- oh! We have a chance to give him his lighter. He forgot his lighter. Oh, and as you can tell, everyone in this town, like, um, Riona's a banshee, um, Lucas is a satyr, 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 whatever you say, Gal is a werewolf, and Georgie is just a normal police officer. Human, I think. I could be wrong. Hey, everyone. Oh, boy. I thought I'd be early... But you're already here, lady. Hello? <laughs> Miss B, for the love of all things holy, tell me my lighter is here. Well, you're in luck, because it is. <laughs> Damn, thank goodness. Would you like me to get it out for you now? No, that's fine. I'm glad I just know it's here. Just bring it with my drink later. Yeah, I forgot last time. Sure, let me know when you're ready to order. Cheers. Well, 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 what do we have here? What's up, y'all? Evening, officer. We were just talking about the spot where Miss Riona's car may have been vandalized. Oh. They got here too. <laughs> Why are you calling her lady, Lucas? That's just so weird. <clears throat> Excuse me, so weird. They got your car too, lady? Yes, but it's not a big issue. I mean, it just sounds odd. 
<laughs> Still sorry you had that experience, that. Where did you park your car, miss? I can send you the coordinates if you like. That'd be real swell. Swell. Got it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Is it within the area you expected, or...? Pretty much. The same location where I parked mine a week ago. I see. You can rest assured we already increased patrols in that area. Well, that's great. But I am the only one doing it at the moment. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> hey, what's that? Am I hearing you out of all people doubting my skill must be? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> I just thought it means in a comfortable... I just thought it means an unfortunate increase in your workload. Ah, uh, well, then, the brakes, I suppose. Anyway, give me your strongest espresso, Miss B, and don't forget my lighter. <sighs> handy dandy notebook. <laughs> it's my handy dandy notebook. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Java, Java, Java. True. Can move them around. Okay. That's probably, yeah. That's probably why I didn't see it there last time. There it is. You probably think I'm being silly, but what can I say? It's my lucky charm. Yeah, yeah. It's borderline superstitious, I know. Don't you have anything of the sort? I kind of do. <laughs> I have a worry stone. I have a worry stone. That was sent from Ireland. Dude, yeah, they just said. Well, I have a good reason to be superstitious. Whenever I don't have it with me, things happen. Like the tires. Right, right. And here comes the strongest espresso in the house. Cheers. Perfect as always. Are you ready to order? Might as well. Well, I'm two for one. <laughs> oh, wait, one. Yeah, two right, one wrong. Desserty. Because it's your cheat day. Any specifics in mind? Spanish hot cocoa. It was so thick, I thought it was chocolate sauce. The name also reminded me of a song, but for some reason I can't remember the title right now. You know, that sounds oddly familiar. For real? Then I'll have that thick cocoa. It's got milk and a little hot, spicy kick to it. Okay, cocoa, milk, and probably... Okay, let's see. Choco bee? Maybe? After midnight? But I don't think mint is. Um, so it's got cocoa, milk. Spicy is like ginger, but I'm thinking almost cinnamon. Let's see. Coffee, coffee, blue pea. Honey? There's cinnamon. A cinnamon log. Choco. Okay. Okay, he said milk is in it, so it's not it's not a honey chocolate. Oh, Spanish Sahara. Chocolate milk and ginger. Cinnamon. Okay, let's try it. Sahara? I hope it's what it's called. <laughs> bon appetit. I hope it is right. I think that, oh good, okay. We're three and one now. Nice. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to pen this. <laughs> 
I always forget you can pin stuff to the chat. I mean, it's not that far away. Um, so, on the 24th and 25th, we will be raising money for 1UP on Cancer. Just FYI. Um, there's a poss- well, I'm hoping it gets set up correctly through Bonfire. If not, I'll just have to do it through somewhere else, but Bonfire uh, goes directly to the charity and you can buy shirts. So I want to do children's and adults t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, and hoodies. So cross fingers that I could get that done <laughs> in time. I had to like go to Bonfire and then put what charity I wanted to do and put myself as I want to raise money and they have to approve it for some reason. So now I'm waiting for the approval. Oh, Lucas. <laughs> Just earlier you were telling me about your creepy patrolling experience, right? Was it in the same location where Lady's car was? Ladies? She has a name. Riona. Ladies. I, I think he's trying to be nice, but... <laughs> creepy patrolling experience. Well, tell us all, Georgie. I don't know if I should even talk about it, because maybe it's a tad too spooky. Even for me. Yeah, I want to know. Wait, Gala said, what happened? Tell him, Pops. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. Then all the more reason to talk about it, right? Maybe someone will know something. Got a point there. Y'all, we're talking about the area anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've been patrolling there the past three nights. The street itself is fairly straightforward. It's about half a mile round trip from the intersection and back. There's nothing much there either. A concrete sidewalk with metered parking spots. A fence here and there. And an unfinished construction site with a couple of CCTVs dotted about. No tree? What tree? There used to be a dead tree in front of the old library. Huh. Oh, that old dead tree. It was uprooted by the city back in January. Ah. The commercial community decided it wasn't a really a good look. So when the city started a massive cleanup project last year, well, they simply voted to get rid of it. I see. Why? What's up? <laughs> we were actually talking about it early and, um, being a decades old landmark aside, could there be something more to the tree than just, well, being old? Think so? That's what I think after listening to Miss Riona. Yes, her name is Riona Lucas. <laughs> Are you expecting something through me, Miss B? Huh? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry if I crossed the line. I just seem to know- you just seem to know a lot about it and I don't want to mix up the facts. I understand, but I would like to hear the officer's spooky tale first, if you don't mind. Almost forgot about me there, huh? Well, <laughs> no, I want to hear the spooky story. So anyway, patrolling on that street is an easy task. Only four to five cars would park there overnight at most, which makes keeping track a breeze. Sounds ideal enough. As expected though, my head is covering is uh maybe I should move over. There we go. As expected though, nothing happened the first two nights. But <laughs> that's kind of the yeah the thunder yesterday was a different story oh my gosh hold on hold on what a stage setup huh <laughs> oh phew there you go Thank goodness, Lucas does not like the dark. Sorry about that, please continue. Alrighty. <laughs> oh, well now see I'm not covering. Wait. Okay, whatever. 
Well, it was nearing the end of my shift and I found nothing was amiss. There was only four cars parked that night. Two spaced across the street and two on the opposite corner, side by side. My plan was to leave after I walked one last round to make sure everything was okay. As a reminder, you can cover the whole place in only eight minutes. Okay. Then at the end of the mo my walk, I took a drag of my cigarette, swung as I was about to clock out, thinking twas another night job well done. Right? Wrong. As I immediately faced the impossible, three cars, two side by side, one across the street. All tires flattened. That's 12 vandalized cars for you in a span of less than 10 minutes. That is so strange. It would take several minutes to flatten just one tire. And that's if you're using the right tools, right? That wasn't all. Oh no, it wasn't. Because that was the moment when the street lights went out suddenly at all, suddenly and all at once. What? Right after that, I heard flurries of footsteps and laughter. They were going farther and farther away from the scene, and yet, <laughs> Lucas's face, oh my gosh, I saw nothing at all. <laughs> hey, your face, you're killing me, Smalls. Okay. Oh, are you sure? Did the CCTV catch anything? The infrareds actually managed to catch something. But the videos were cl weren't clear at all, so I'm still investigating it. Jeez Louise, Pops. That's way spookier than what you told me in the car. But it's cool, though. <laughs> I may be laughing now, but I almost pissed my pants there to see. Well, whoever they were, they sure worked fast. Right? Anyway, Miss B, I think I want another drink. All that talking is making my throat dry, and coffee just ain't cutting it. Roger that, what would you like? What do you suggest? How about some tea with ginger and honey? Sounds good. Mm. Can you use the red flower stuff as a base? Oh, you mean the biscuits, definitely. Like a red flower tea with ginger and a touch of honey? Okay, so... Oh, not lemon, reset. Okay, tea. Ginger. Honey. What does it look like if I go tea, honey, ginger? Screw this. I need ginger tea. No, it's wrong. <laughs> oh, I forgot the hibiscus. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I did it wrong. Yes, yeah, Steeler. Oh no. Okay, I'm three and two now. Hey, Miss B, this doesn't look like what I ordered. Oh, you're right. Really? You need a break. Yes, I need a break. Perhaps. I apologize. Let me remake it for you. Eh, no need. I'll just have whatever this is. Okay, but I'm deeply sorry for the mix-up once again. If that's the case, let me join your patrol pops, because I'm not scared of ghosts. You'll be in scare me. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I, I think I hit the hibiscus first and then I went to tea. I wish I would have seen your thing first, Steeler. <laughs> oh yeah, he said ghost. Jumping the gun there a little, ain't ya, huh? I don't know, Pops. Maybe, the even, maybe even something crazier than that, like taking down the tree? This is really a serious problem, kid. Don't joke around like that. Sorry. So I got Gala's and Georgie's wrong, but I got Lucas and Riona's right. So we're two and two? Okay. <laughs> you know something? No, not me. But she might. 
Oh, she is a banshee. Right, the tree, wasn't it? Oh yeah, what about it, miss? It's your turn to finish your thought. I'm not sure if this can be any use at all, but... Officer, are you aware of the story behind that tree? Huh? I recall what you said earlier. People often leave remembrances around it. What do you mean by that, miss? Well, here, I'm calling Riona Miss now, too, because someone passed away there. What? Allow me to explain. Oh no. I mentioned there was once a flea market on that street, correct? Right? They called it the Fairy Market. It was unofficially set up by the transients of the community. Transients being the government's term for unregistered citizens, including all the other uncategorizable beings at the time. Fairies were a part of that. Huh. I remember learning about that. After the war, the government made its first official attempt to sort things out. Organizing equitable classifications was thought as one of the first steps towards civil peace. But it was oversimplified, inefficient, and not speedy enough. Was that all before the Vindication Act? Way before that. Many who couldn't register were barely in administrative limbo. What? That's as good as, like, not existing at all. Really, that's horrible. It was the main reason why the fairy market was created in the first place, to ensure transient survival throughout the changing times. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for hopping on over with Unicorn Scotch Trade. Hope you're doing well. We're just chilling. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Got my coffee. I need it because there's a lot of reading in this. <laughs> but I hope your Sunday's going well. We're learning about the fairy market now. The market had no real schedule, therefore, to start off fairy week, the start of fairy week would be marked by flowers strewn along the intersection. Just so people would notice and come take a look. Sounds kind of low key, no? Because it was illegal, silly. <laughs> hey, you guys! You're doing good? I'm, I'm doing pretty well. Trombones! Hi! How's it going? <laughs> Two raids today! That's amazing, you guys! Hello, hello. What were you playing today? I just... Did I not see you on? That's so weird. Usually I see you on on Saturdays. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a brass session raid! Oh my gosh. Never said it's always Sundays. Yeah, I, I missed you today for some reason, which is really weird. I must have been paying really close attention to Iceman's uh, 76 New Vegas playthrough. <laughs> How's it going? How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. If you gotta take care of yourself, if you gotta take a nap, get a drink, eat, pet your cat, wash your fish, whatever you gotta do. <laughs> Chilling and hungry. So, um, hi everyone, I am Misbehave. Um, I guess we can go to IRL. I didn't do that for Unicorn Scotch, but hi. <laughs> I stream on Saturday and Sundays, and except for not next, not next week because of um, cancer treatment, but on Wednesday night, Valentine, Valentine's Day night, I will be streaming and we are going to kick some Eldritch Brain butt on Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> so, but yeah, I like story games. Um, Coffee Talk, I played the first one, so this is the second one, and right now we're learning about fairy markets, because <laughs> there are fairies in, in this thing, so 
Yeah. Let's get back. So we have Gala. We have Officer Georgie. We have Lucas, who is a social media guru. And we have Riona, who is a banshee and she sings, obviously. <laughs> She's trying to get a singing career. So, okay. <laughs> of course, of course. I swear, I swear my nose just knows when to um, run. <laughs> at the wrong moments of the most inopportune times oh my gosh but anyway yeah um gosh i totally forgot to do i'm just way off today but if you guys have not followed 76 trombones please please do excellent streamer a lot of fun to watch shiny you must be bad guys <laughs> thank you and if you haven't noticed um i like firefly yeah <laughs> um, if you didn't notice, if you've seen Firefly, this is the kitchen. <laughs> yes, of course. 100% worth a watch. Okay. Fairy markets. We're trying to figure out why everyone's tires are getting slashed on a road that's in front of a historical building that used to have a tree that had memorandums by it. And <laughs> yeah, there used to be a flea market called the fairy market. So that's pretty much the sum of it, I think. And I'm the barista and I kind of accidentally made two drinks wrong and two drinks right today. So <laughs> yeah, okay. At the same time the economy was slowly reshaping the landscape, people started to spend more time becoming reckless. While the laws were still shaky at best, they're talking about, it must have been a war between like humans and the supernatural or something like that. And then they became at peace, but integrating got all weird and stuff like that. So that's the best I can describe it, I guess. Then a tragic incident occurred one night. A drunk driver was speeding and went off course striking a vendor there. And the only evidence left of the crime was that tree standing where there was no tree before. Wait a second, what? Why did I never hear about that? Uh, how long ago was this? The accident occurred in 1959. Oh, and this is like when you go to the next day of um, when your day is done as a barista, you close shop and stuff. Um, you actually own this coffee joint, but um, it's got like a newspaper from 2023 in the headlines. Some of them are too close to home. <laughs> it's just like, what? <laughs> okay, but the market itself was forcefully disbanded in 1961. It happened before I was born. Yeah, I remember everything now. It was actually quite an infamous case, wasn't it? But due to the nature of beings involved, most people couldn't help but, well, forget. Huh. We're talking about the late 50s to early 60s here. Post-war media was still quite scarce. And I remember the drunk driver was also the son of a very wealthy individual. Oh. Correct. But that wasn't exactly the part that made this case so infamous. It was due to the fact that no body was ever found at the crash site, as well as a vendor being a transient with no legal ID or paper trial. As a result, the court had no choice to dis but to dismiss the case. Was the person that got hit a dryad or something? <laughs> I mean, they were supernatural. Just let me turn into a tree and heal. I don't know. Um, but there was a body, wasn't it? just not the one people might expect. You mean the tree. Right. When semi-supernatural beings like us pass on from the physical world, some may leave a specific landmarks behind. Oh, okay. Not all can do that though. Us banshees don't do that. You don't? No, we simply disappear. So if I'm getting this right, 
The tree could be used as evidence because it wasn't classified as remains yet. The witnesses were in the same boat, no paper trail. So the driver's lawyer took advantage of those loopholes. And that's messed up. Oh, now that we've had a while, let me get a shout out for um, Unicorn Scotch also. I have the links when they come into chat, but I like to give them a little shout out also. Okay, beyond messed up pops. Whoa, I'm boiling. I'll take a further look at this more mess, but I have a question for you. Yes. You think the vandalism has anything to do with the tree removal? I don't know. I suppose it might depend on the acts of the vandalism began. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I better get going then. It's almost time for my shift. Okay, officer. Break a leg, Pops. <laughs> Don't tell him that. I'd rather not. Stay safe, we'll do. Keep you posted. Alright. That was a lot. <laughs> I better go as well. I got an early shift tomorrow. There's one thing I want to confirm, though, if you don't mind, miss. Yes? It's about the fairies passing and how everyone ends up forgetting about them afterwards. I really thought that was just a myth. I guess not. Unfortunately. That is why <laughs> I keep getting distracted by the people walking by the windows. Because, you know, you got the shadows. And then some have tails, some have horns. <laughs> that is why there used to be memorabilia around that tree. They were efforts by those who remember to preserve the memory. But it wasn't enough, was it? Else we'd still have the tree. Yep. Really makes me question my memory. Are there any people I might have forgotten? There, were there any events I missed? It's quite scary to think about. For beings like us, being forgotten is in inevitable. So no need to feel bad about it. That's so. <laughs> oh, I didn't catch your name, by the way. I'm Gala. Oh, I'm Lucas. Nice to meet you. Well then, nice meeting you. Good luck with your future additions, Miss Riona. Thank you. Bye, Miss B. Take care, Gala. Alright, before we talk, we got our Tomoto chill. Lucas. That's cute. Alright. You okay? It's getting real late. I still want to talk, but if you're tired, let me know. Have you eaten? Do you want something to eat? We don't sell food here. You don't? No wonder your place is always empty. <laughs> well, just kidding, Miss B. Don't hate me, please. Well, do you want another drink, maybe? Hmm. I wouldn't mind one. Nice, what do you feel like having? Something without milk. With a fresh feeling and some brightness to it. So mint, maybe? Also quite partial to blue pea tea. Okay, I'll order something for you, may I? Oh gosh. Try this mix, okay. Blue pea, honey, and mint. Okay. Is blue pea real? Because I kind of want to try it now. <laughs> Here you go, miss. Oh, it's pretty. Yeah, actually. It's good, but lacking brightness. Oh, some lemon would be nice. But it's alright. Thank you for ordering it for me. Thanks for the- you're welcome for making it look pretty. I try. But man, that whole case earlier though, it was a lot to take in. Yeah, it kind of was. Also, about the whole forgetting thing. That really gives me chills. Why? Ugh, don't you feel scared? Of just disappearing in the end? Huh. Cause I do. Excuse me. 
Everything is like <laughs> dry lips and yeah, okay. Alright, because I do. But I mean, if he's like on the internet, his stuff will be there forever, so he really won't be forgotten. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So good to see you, Cornets. So good to see you. Yes, enjoy your lurk. <laughs> oh, she wants to become a soprano. So she's a banshee that sings soprano traditional way. Oh. Care to compare notes? Because I've yet to in to be entirely certain about that myself. Oh, huh. That was only like before and I don't know. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Pet the kitties. Kitty, you only have one cat, right? <laughs> before that though, I can ask a teeny tiny question. Go ahead. What inspired you to go down this path? I mean, I have, I may have an idea on why you're choosing the hard way, but why a soprano in the first place? Because it's been done before. Pardon? Because there was already a banshee who did it before. So I know it's not impossible. Whoa, for real? Her part was that of a so sorbet aria and she was not very well known. What is a sorbet? I seen it totally wrong. Oh, I mean she was a secondary character. Back in the early 19th century opera, they would be sung towards the end of the second act, usually before an evening ended. Okay. Hawkers would use them to offer their wares for the last time to the, for the last time to the patrons. Often desserts. Hence, sorbet. All right. Oh, okay. Like background singing at the end of a show or something. Yes. Things are different nowadays because people are expected to listen to the end. First time I heard her voice was on an old recording of a comedy opera. It was I was still very young back then. She was playing a confused maid role at the very end of the opera. Wondering why and how people could act so crazy when in love, but despite her confusion. She thought she wasn't so old that she couldn't find out the reason herself. It was a funny epi epilogue to the opera. But hearing a banshee sing such a playful and lighthearted piece, it was truly an eye popper for me. Oh man, I bet it was. Sadly, I couldn't find any of her other works. But it always stuck with me nonetheless. So I left my commune and started trying on my own. That is really cool and brave of you to do. I agree. I've never talked about this before. It's a bit embarrassing. Nah, don't be embarrassed. I think it's super cool. You're just feeling inspired to push yourself beyond what's expected of you. And wishing to leave a mark on this world. Is that what you think? Uh-huh. You're just trying to follow a path that has been traveled before. It's not always a bad thing, especially for beings like us. You're just being careful yet courageous. <laughs> Carefully courageous. Right, because the path you're choosing to walk is still difficult. Hmm. Regarding leaving your mark, I don't know. I just feel maybe you're the same as me. Like, what's the point of being born if nobody is going to remember us? Right, Miss B? <laughs> no comment. Aw. Why do you want to be remembered so much? Wouldn't you? As banshees see the indifferently the most. So, care to enlighten me? Uh, I can't speak for anyone else, but in my case, I was a kid who grew up in a large family, you see. Like, humongously large. Literally couldn't count all of my siblings even if I wanted to. Because <laughs> they're everywhere, thanks to my dad. Oh. <laughs> we weren't wealthy, though, not even close. The money situation was always suffocating us for real. But sometimes dad would drop by to give us some money. That wasn't even enough to cover utilities for more than a couple months. And then he'd just leave again for a couple days later. Wow. Are you the eldest? Nope. 
The male of the bros have already moved out by the time I hit my high school. Mm. I was so surprised when my dad gave me the house after he died. Oh. Which is where my mom and siblings live now. I'm sorry to hear about your father. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, so my older brothers came back, right? They wanted me to sell the house and divide the earnings. Right, wanted a slice of the inheritance pie, huh? <laughs> you didn't do that, right? Heck no. That's why I left for LA. So if they really want me to sell the house, they have to chase after me. <laughs> there you go, good call. Thankfully, my younger siblings and I are pretty tight. We're a good team. That's a relief. But that was also why I needed money fast. I needed to send money to help my family bills. And of course, so I could stay alive as well. That's why I ended up having to join the production house. The production house. Yeah, it was like a, a bunch of content creators getting together to make videos every day. I was young and naive too, you know. Because it was my first time venturing to another state completely alone after all. So I didn't know better. How predatory things could be. Man, this isn't even going to be an entertaining story. <laughs> if you're uncomfortable, you don't have to talk about it. No, no, it's not that. Just really, really don't like Production House. But I needed the money. Someone there sell my blogs and invited me in. And as one of the youngest there, I tried to get along with everyone. But you see, we were all creators in the entertainment industry. Which means we all had huge, huge egos. <laughs> so not like join together and support each other, try to tear each other apart to be the best of the best of the best, I suppose. So naturally there was someone of a hierarchy of sorts, trying to be all around helpful turned me into the butt of the joke all the time. That didn't discourage me all that much, by the way. I mean, I also learned a lot there, not gonna lie, still. Well, long story short, being tokenized suck at the end. <laughs> no disagreement there. Sorry, I swear that wasn't what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> it's fine. I actually learned a lot this evening. Uh huh. I just don't want it to take up more of your time. So I can just ask you a direct question? Sure. Great, would you be interested in guest starring on my new show? What? I realized it was the best I was being dumb the day we first met. Kind of forced my thoughts on you and was just being a general smartass. <laughs> I had undermined your straightforward efforts because I was jealous of your solid resolve. Since everything I did was anything but. But you succeeded eventually, didn't you? And you worked hard for it. Yes, I almost ended up losing sight of why I've been doing this in the first place. I went with the flow, maybe excuses a lot. All to justify the game, but what's to what end? That's why I've been trying to put together a talent showcase for those who need extra exposure. It's going to be a small production thing. It'll be paid, I swear. And not with exposure either. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Let me pay you with exposure. Yeah. Though it won't be much at first. Because I have that much money ready to... I don't have that much money ready to use at the moment, so... Um, wait. This is a bit sudden, don't you think? No pressure, though. How does the show work? Well, I'm not 100% sure of the shape of it yet. <laughs> But ideally, it will have like an interview at first, and then I'll record your singing. I'll bring all the gear. I will also be doing all the editing and stuff. It's going to take a bit of time since I still have my main show to do. But I did start my vlogging journey on my own too. So I bet, so I can bet you the result will still be the quality. Or what? <laughs> your show will tank if I'm the first guest in... You realize that, right? If it does, then it doesn't deserve to exist. I don't care about haters, but you do. That's why I won't push you. 
<laughs> okay. I'm flattered, but no thank you. Okay. Thanks for considering me, though. Thanks for giving it a thought. Huh. Looks like I have to go. Okay. It's nothing to do with what you said, okay? Just bad timing. Yes, I get it. Cool. Hope we can meet it again like, like this, if you want to. Maybe. I'll take it. Thanks for your time too, Miss B. Sorry I bored you. It truly was my pleasure. Cool. Um, okay, I really have to go see you around. Safe try. <sighs> Later, Lucas. Come again soon. <laughs> tonight was the most I've talked in the past two years, and I'm quite glad to hear that. Thank you, Miss B. For what? For being such a good host. I'm no not the easiest being to get along with. It's always a pleasure to have you around, and everyone around. Then I'll be taking my leave. I feel like I have a lot to do, rethink, but I'll see you again soon. Be waiting always. Safe trip, Miss Riotta, and have a good night. And hopefully, her car is okay. <sighs> that was a lot tonight, I think. I That was a lot of story, different stories. Um, wow. Or like stories meshing together. I think I'm done for the night. <laughs> At the cafe, anyway. I hope everything will work out for everyone. Oop, let's our brew pad. So we made Russian tea today. Spanish Sahara. Flower bed. Dark chocolate, a warm calming, <laughs> warm and calming darkness. Wow. September 27th, 2023. Here we go. World Gollum Culture Center grand opening to be held in Bhutan. Oh, I can see his... Okay, these are the eyes, the nose. This looks like a giant moustache. No, actually, this is his mouth, right? <laughs> Lunar cell panel prototype ready for first test. Newcomer progressive elven metal band Avathor tops US music charts. Nice. Huh. I thought there was more stuff in the drawer yesterday. Am I rem misremembering things? Let's see. Oh no, it's. Wait. Key is gone. All the ingredients are stocked up and the weather is keeping quiet. Looks like a good night to listen to some stories. And the key is gone. I thought it was Hyde's key. Oh no. Hang on a sec. They're here. Yay. Galen Hyde. I like them. Excuse me. My nose. So did I miss giving it to somebody? I don't know whose key card. Nobody asked for it. Hmm. Yes. Good evening, Mr. Hyde and Mr. Gala. Nice to see you too. How'd it go at the hospital today? Well, it was fine, except I was a little exhausted. I <laughs> rolled his eyes. Goodness, are you having issues with the children again? No, that's not it. It's just. Well, for starters, my furry is giving me a hard time. Your furry is the full moon. Already? 
Is it the full moon already? No, but I sometimes get pre furry symptoms. Pre furry symptoms. Yeah, it's a common thing for water wolves. A few days before the moon, our bodies start to prepare for it. And that changes the way they react to pretty much everything. Symptoms vary depending on who you ask. But it can affect us. Our muscles, our appetite, our energy levels. It can even give us headaches and a lot of other stuff. Small, but annoying. It does not sound pleasant. No, to be honest, it's not great. For me, I've been feeling pretty sore and more tired than usual. And a bit crankier as well. <laughs> Hyde's like, yeah. <laughs> Is there a drink that could help you with that? I never found one, but if anyone could come up with it, it's you must be. Since a Galahad can soothe your fur or fury, maybe it'd work for Free Fury as well? Maybe, but I think it'd need to be more relaxing. Like a Galahad, but with no caffeine and maybe blue. <laughs> hey, Alien King! Could be the coziest, chilliest, chili, chilliest, chili, chilliest game ever. How's it going? It is very, very chill. So, no caffeine. Oh my gosh, how was Mexican last night? <laughs> Hopefully good. Okay, blue pea, milk, and ginger. Please be right, please be right, please be right. <laughs> so there's a Galahad. Tea, milk, and ginger. And a gala tea. Blue pea, milk, and ginger. Let's see if this is correct. Happy Sunday, by the way. Oh, look at that! I think I did it correctly. It's got like the little wolfie on it. <laughs> okay, it's still missing. Dang it. Somebody stole our key card. It is like the chilly, chillest game ever. That's like, <laughs> but there's a lot of drama in some of the stories, so that's that's good. Thing is that I'm not used to reading out loud so much, so uh, that's why I got coffee. Oh my gosh! Do you come up with these names on the spot, Miss B? And I'm the Marie. I'm the barista. And last weekend, I found out that I might be an alien. So, <laughs> that'll be interesting if it's true. Did you come up with these names? Uh, no, it takes a bit of soul searching to tailor it to the situation and so on. <laughs> that makes it almost sound like you know I'm an abundance of what I'm gonna order. Call it a sixth sense. Right, let's see how your sixth sense tastes. It's good. Oh, good. All right, so we're three out of two. So we got three correct and wait. I'm keeping score, but now I'm lost. <laughs> We've done more right than not. Okay, hi. What you want? What's with the long looks, you two? Did something happen? Actually, Miss B, guess it'll come out with it. I need your help. Help me, Obi Wan, Miss B, Obi, whatever. <laughs> hey, I'm, I almost, I almost said your name. Hey, my last remote. How's it going? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I play Fallout 76 with my last remote and Alien King, and so today. I will admit, I bought the cabin pack. <laughs> I bought it 
I have nowhere to put it, but I bought it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's go through these first real quick. I couldn't help myself. I gotta get an Yeah. How do you do that? Well, we'll discuss it later. <laughs> Lucas, last night was wild. Ever have a night like that? I guess. Rachel, taking an easy day and self care is important. Absolutely. Freaking totally. Riona, normal schedule. Lucas, dinner with my team. You bought the Pittsburgh place too? I was, okay, so I saw the, um, the horse on the store. Oh, so Alien King, my last remote is Sheila. <laughs> Just so you know, it's, yeah, my last remote is Sheila, so. <laughs> okay, game. No, I was tired today and nearly fell asleep on the job. Ugh. Most importantly, it's not good for you. Moping around, sulking, refusing to look at solutions. I wonder if that key card was... was hides. Oh. Oh, and, um, Sheila, Alien King is Chris. <laughs> you two know each other. <laughs> I've never seen you like this, and I'm getting worried. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. You say that, but then you spend entire nights looking miserable. No advice to come up with is good enough. Oh no. And hide and barely keeping it together as it is. You should know by now how I feel when furry is about to hit. I'm gonna take it you two ended up chatting yesterday after all. a sub <laughs> thank you for gifting a sub now you get to use some some fa fancy fancy um, emotes yay <laughs> everything is shiny let's see after I walked out of here I headed home and found this one lying on the sofa staring at the ceiling looking so gloomy it sucked the color out of the room and it's not the first time either. It's a constant these days. Please help him, Miss B. You're our only hope. <laughs> I'm at my wit's end. Mr. Hype? Ugh, fine. <laughs> so Hyde is a vampire, if you haven't figured that out. At first I thought he was like a Jekyll and Hyde, but he's a vampire. And Gala is a werewolf, if you haven't figured that out. <laughs> Truth is, I'm bored to death. Or I would be if I wasn't for the whole immortality thing. I'm nearly 40. Nearing 40? I thought Hyde was older than that. I've never been bored in my entire life. Interesting, you usually make it sound like you're much older. 40 years old in vampire years? I didn't know there was like a doggy years to vampire years. Not saying how old that is in other species years. <laughs> Eyes on the prize, Miss B. Intervention first, gossip later. <laughs> okay. Hang on. My apologies. Why are you so bored, Mr. Hyde? My job. What was that? My job. Hey, no need to shout. Well, I'm also irritated about it, okay? I'm not exactly used to sitting around twiddling my thumbs. But modeling stopped being fun ages ago. You did mention something like that last time. You are trying to leave modeling behind then. Yeah. Is there a specific reason for that? 
It's all just so brief. Back when I started modeling, people thought of fashion in a different way. They wanted to keep their outfits for a while, so they had to be elegant, well-made, and versatile. Some campaigns that I featured and stayed on billboards for months, and I knew the clothes would last decades. In a way, it felt like I was building a bond with their wearers. I endorsed something that would feature in their cherished, me cherished memories. But then social media came and it all became disposable. The clothes themselves, of course, but the models even more. I shoot a campaign, the brand posted online, and it gets attention for what, 10 minutes? Then another campaign comes in and everything is forgotten. Blink and it's gone. There's no bond to be built there. Isn't that changing these days though? <laughs> Slow fashion and the like. That's true, and people are getting into vintage clothes too. I salute that. But the reality of my job remains the same. What about your fans? You have so many people following you. You know, this would be a good uh, game for somebody who actually wanted to voice act or had different voices. I do not, unfortunately. But um, well, I have my, I have my southern, my southern accent with the biscuits and the honey and the tea and all. But yeah, that's about all. That's all about all I can do. Maybe a British, but yeah, it'd be good, like to practice with voice acting if you're getting, you want to get into that. Anyway, <laughs> you mentioned that last night. Um, my answer has not changed. They follow me because they think I'm pretty. Being admired is nice, but it doesn't constitute a bond. So you were saying that you'd like to leave more of a mark. Maybe so. It would be nice if it is something that people remembered. That became part of their lives in a real way. You do know you have people in your life in a real way, right? People who always remember you? It's not the same thing. Maybe you should study to become a doctor or something. That would make a real difference. No, thank you. Job still needs to be fun. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do that. Studying for 10 years just to exhaust myself for a 14 hour shift. Did you mistake me for hardworking vampire? <laughs> you see what I'm dealing with, Miss B? It does seem to be a uh, thorny issue. Perhaps you'd like to mull it over with a drink in hand, Mr. Hyde? Yeah, that sounds good. Just make something I like. Oh, we messed up his last time, didn't we? Um, anything you've seen me enjoy recently when we first met? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is with all these raids? Oh my gosh, Goblin Tuesday? What the heck? Shiny. Must be bad guys. <laughs> Shiny! Oh my gosh! Hi! Go on Tuesday! Hello! Love Coffee Talk! I do too. It's so freaking good. Oh no! What happened? Oh! <laughs> Caps! Caps! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> Oops! Campy stories. Sorry about that. <laughs> Goblin Tuesday. How y'all doing? Hello, hello. Welcome to the hive. Hello. <laughs> I thought I had caps on for like longer, but I'll have to look at that. So <laughs> I had to do that for battle pants because when my um, my bot got really corset and stuff. Um, I had it on like shorter emotes that you could put in the chat and I had to make a mocker. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, it, thank you so much for the raid, I really appreciate it. And if you have to go take care of yourself, take a nap, get something to eat, drink, um, wash the dog, pet the fish, whatever you gotta do, <laughs> feel free to do it. Yeah, this is Coffee Talk 2. Um, we were dealing with uh, Mr. Hyde, who's a vampire, and Gala, who's a werewolf. <laughs> so, 
this the drama is i mean this is like a super chill game but the drama is just extraordinary but i'm going to do a shout out here I was actually lurking in your stream earlier. You were playing Fable 3, was it? I think. I think that's what I saw. I know it was a Fables game. Yeah. I was doing the lurky turkeys. <laughs> okay, so Hyde likes the hibiscus, hibiscus, hibiscus drink. So, we're, we're just gonna settle with the old school. <laughs> oh, and for those that don't know me, you know what? Let's let's do the raid video. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, you are playing in a stream with him too? Nice. Very nice. Okay, yeah, let's... I mean, I, I made this video to play when raids came in, so why not? Let's do this real quick. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, I guess we're going back down. <sighs> oh, 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 no, no, oh my God. How was my dentist was visit? I think I got, I think I got something like time. right here I on my face. Chalk everything up to you a see dream, it? A delusion. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. That was in bad that taste. That was in really bad taste, right? <laughs> uh Holy buckets of reapers. Okay. Oh, holy buckets of clickers. Uh, oh, dude, dude, no. Frickity frackity frogs. No. Oh, jeez, I'm a Nelly. <laughs> Take that, you hoardy McCarty pants, you. Indoor voice, Deacon. Indoor voice. Oh, hi. Bye. I, okay, I'll say that again. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realize how many cosplays were in it. That's like an old video. I, I thought I had the new one up, but, um. Yeah. <laughs> the the whole thing with Geralt falling off the cliff and actually living that, that was freaking amazing. I I was I was like shocked because Geralt and his knees, if he just goes downstairs too fast, he dies. So Do I play Fable 3 on Xbox? I do not have an Xbox. I just have a PS4. Um do I have any of the Fable games? <laughs> Thank you. Um, you got me curious now. I don't. I thought I did. Unless it's called something first, but yeah. I have friends that have S Xbox, but I don't. <laughs> My son is the one that has all of the uh, consoles. So. Okay. I hope this is correct. Hibiscus tea. Okay, I hope you enjoy this one. Why does Gala lose? 
Guess there's a first time for everything? What do you mean? Uh, never mind. No! I'm very sorry. Whatever. <gasps> but that's what I had down for him! Hibiscus, hibiscus, hibiscus. And he said old or new. I'm, I, you know what? I'm still counting that as a win. <laughs> That's still a win for me. Okay, Lua. Yeah, he's just whatevered me. He, he, I think he bet Gala that I would get it wrong. And he got it. He was like, yeah, yeah. Oh, and this is Lua. Yeah, kind of busy. Busy, lively, just the way we like it. It's good. I'm really glad you're here, Hyde. I wanted to apologize for the other night. I was so excited to see you, especially since it had been a while. But we ended up fighting with Bailey's instead. You must be getting bored of our... Oh, Mr. Hyde has like... Some of the best advice. Uh, no, they're in Seattle. <laughs> it never stops. Never stops raining. But I do like how they have like shadows going back through, like right there through the window of different like people and cars and stuff. I find that interesting. So you must be getting bored of our arguments. Yeah, her and Bailey's um, are getting married. His family did not agree with it, but he said, screw you family, and then he got disinherited, so he has no money. She's trying to plan a wedding, and it's just crazy. <laughs> it's all right. They're kind of fun to watch. <laughs> Gosh. How are things going with you two, by the way? Uh, just let me order before I answer. Oh, no. Yes, please order. Spent the whole day taking, talking in meetings and presentations, so I have a bit of a sore throat. Is there anything you can recommend for that? Definitely something with lemon and honey. Okay, lemon and honey drink. A lemon, milk? I mean, it could be milk, ginger, and honey, but... Lemon and honey drink. We could do coffee. But I think there's a... Ooh, there's a cough syrup. A cough syrup. So green tea, lemon, and honey. We'll try that. Green tea, lemon, and honey. Okay. So I have my handy dandy uh, Blue's Coos uh, cheat seat note notebook. <laughs> so... Is that still missing? Somebody stole my key card. I, I, I blame the men in black. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Some honey to soothe, some lemon to boost recovery. Yes. Take that, Mr. Hyde. <laughs> it's great to hear. My company is trying to get a big contract. So I've been organizing minis with everyone, making sure that it's going according to plan. That sounds pretty tough. Yeah, it's a lot of responsibilities and decision making. Part of me likes that, but part of me feels the pressure of it. So it's nice to be able to unwind with a warm cup. Anyhow, to answer your earlier question, Gala, you probably gathered that Bai and I have been fighting. Yeah, I told me a little bit about it too. I just, I just thought of something. <laughs> so, we'll probably, okay, so Wednesday night I'm going to do a Valentine's Day stream um, after I get off work. So it'll be like 6, 6.30 central time, depending on when I get ready. Um, we're going to fight. This is like the end of Baldur's Gate 3, my Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough for my sorceress. And um, so we're going to have Eldritch, Bla Eldritch Brain on Valentine's Day. 
<laughs> so just FYI to anyone, if you're not doing anything, you want to stop by and see me lose some fights and die a few times, that's where I'm <laughs> And finally beat the game. Yeah, that's what we'll be doing. Um, and uh, next, I usually stream Saturday and Sundays, but next Friday is my cancer treatment. So no streams that weekend. The Monday after, possibly a recovery stream. But um, if you see in the chat at the very top, um, we're having a fundraiser for One Up on Cancer on the 24th and 25th. Um, lose fights and win the game. That's how it works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if I'm playing coffee talk during the stream, during the fundraiser stream, I should totally cosplay, right? Right? I mean, I have elf ears. I have outfits. I, sh I should cosplay. That's what I'm thinking anyway. <laughs> That's, that, that sounds like a plan to me. After I seen like all of the, uh, after I saw that raid video, I was like, I haven't done a cosplay in what feels like forever. So yeah, I'll do an elf, elf barista cosplay. Okay, now I got plans going through my head. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> I had to say something while I was thinking about it. Okay, so... Okay, we haven't discussed the wedding for the past couple of days, and honestly, it's done me a lot of good. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, my last remote did a cosplay, a Skyrim cosplay, and she had, like, a great big thing of cheese in a, in a like, a net that she carried around. <laughs> it was just... It was the most excellent. I actually, I, I love that. It was just so fun. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I know buy means well, but he suggests all the things that he likes. The cheese wools, yes. And for those that play uh, Dragon Age, cheese wools are definitely a thing. <laughs> so when I saw it, I thought Dragon Age, but it was Skyrim. So yeah. <laughs> And she had these little elf ears and everything, so super cute. Um, okay, let's see. He's paying attention and not sending random ideas. I should be grateful that he's trying to please me, but I get annoyed instead. She gets annoyed when he's trying to help her with wedding plans, and then she gets unannoyed. Then she gets annoyed when he's done. <laughs> Come on, Lua. And then I start feeling guilty that I'm annoyed, which makes me even more annoyed. <laughs> it's not great, I know. Well, I'd rather... Well, it'd be easier if we'd always acted rationally. <laughs> if we only got annoyed at the right people for the right reasons. But things aren't that simple, are they? That's true. Although I guess if you figured out what actually annoys you, it would help. That's the problem, I'm not sure. At first I thought I was tired or worried. The decision making at my job is taking a toll for sure. It's a bit hard on me to also deal with organizing things in my personal life. Also the financial side of it is hard to navigate. I don't want Bai to spend too much money, but he's right that involving my family comes with strings attached. I'm not sure how to avoid that though. But I'm realizing that it might not even be the main issue. The more he sends me links to venues and caterers, the more it all feels wrong to me. Oh, Lou is not getting cold feet, is she? Oh no. <laughs> I don't mean the wedding itself. I want to get married to buy. But the way we're planning it, I don't know. I've been to my friend's weddings before. I've also been browsing the most popular wedding pictures online. There are always these big parties, very put together, very classy. They have their whole families over, their friends and colleagues. They rent these beautiful barns and they hire live bands. They wear designer dresses and bespoke suits. I used to look at that and think, this is great, this is what I want. But now, it just all feels more and more off to me. Why don't you tell your fiancé that? Yeah, communication, Lua. <laughs> and bye. 
What if he thinks I'm getting cold feet? I mean, that was my first reaction. <laughs> it really was. Or that I'm questioning his ability to help with budget. That's up to how you communicate it, isn't it? Right, but it's still a difficult topic. We've been through so much, you all know that. This is supposed to be our special day, a way to celebrate our partnership. If I wants to honor that, he'll feel awful if he thinks I don't. Or if he thinks I don't trust him. <laughs> I swear, you and your elf are well matched. You always worry so much about what others think, instead of working out your own wants and needs. You do realize that's the important bit, right? I mean, generally, yes, I get that, but how does it apply here? What do you think it means to honor your partnership? To celebrate it properly, for starters? Right? And who are you in that partnership with? I believe you met him, the blonde guy with the puppy eyes. Right. <laughs> I'm glad you remember that because you were making it sound like you were in a relationship with your friends who got married. And the strangers who put wedding pictures online. Look at Hive go. <laughs> this is your relationship. Your, this is your relationship. You're celebrating, Lua. That makes so much sense. Why are you so co so concerned with other people's weddings? Your special day needs to make sense to the two of you. Have it in trainer. Wait, have it in trainers at a fast food joint. Oh, okay. <laughs> if that's what you like. That way, you can also take the budget out of the equation. A simpler wedding won't feel shabby if you make it feel properly yours. Um, I still want a pretty outfit and decent food. <laughs> Thank goodness. But point well taken. It's just, my family might have certain expectations. Did they openly say that? No. Then maybe they do, or maybe you just think they do. The only way to find out is to talk to them. Besides, isn't Bailey's also about to become your family? You sure are the only f you sure are the only family he's got. Yeah, because he was disowned by his family. Um, I'm not saying to disinvite everyone or to fight with them or anything, but you shouldn't put their needs above your own. No, you should not, Lua. You give me food for thought. Thanks, Hyde. Hyde and his advice. And he's only 40 years in vampire years. <laughs> is what he says. Amazing how you perk up when you give people advice, Hyde. Maybe you should become a therapist. Hmm. I mean, really. Like, the, he gave advice to Lucas before, and it was really good advice, too. And to Riona. I did say I might become a couples counselor, but I agree with what you all have implied. I don't think I'm quite tactful enough for that. Are you looking to change career side? He's bored of modeling. Finds it too impertinent, wants to leave a mark, wants to have fun. Just a very quick summary. Oh, I see. Well, is there any way you could make modeling fun again? I don't think so. Last time I had proper fun was maybe 20 years ago. What happened then? It was a mo I was modeling a capsule collection for a young designer. She wanted to take her own pictures. She got a studio, lugged the outfits there, found someone to do the makeup. Then she whipped out an old film camera, a proper relic. I hadn't seen one since the 60s. My granddad has an old black and silver camera with two lenses. Was it something like that? Yep, exactly like that. She said she preferred it because of the way it captured the light. And also because it was a slower experience. Something that would allow us to connect more. At first, I didn't think much of it. Started doing the usual 
posing and switching, posing some more, but something felt different. Then I realized what it was. Most of the time you were just talking. She only took a picture once in a few minutes, if that. That's unusual. Yep, most fashion photographers take dozens of pictures in a row. I felt a bit sorry for her, to be honest. I thought she didn't know what she was doing and that she was wasting her money. But we had a great time and we got kind of friendly, I guess. But at the end of it, she let me use up the remaining exposures. I fooled around, shot some random stuff, and one portrait of her. Then she suggested I come with her to her dark room. Watched, <laughs> I thought, I thought, Lu I thought Lua was like, <laughs> go to her dark room. Anyway, watch how she developed the pictures and how they came out. You did always have a fondness for dark places. <laughs> Vampire. But as for the pictures, well, they were gorgeous. First of all, I looked really like me, you know? A me I could recognize. But that's not even what st stuck with me the most. It's the care she put into the processing of each frame, working each picture through the chemical baths, hanging them, drying them. It was like watching a magic horse ritual. We did that, like, for one of the art classes I, did, I took in college. We had to take um, photography. And it was, it was really cool doing that whole process with the dark room. And her portrait. When she saw it, she got a bit emotional. She said she was used to being on the other side of the camera. And it was the first time she really liked a portrait someone took of her. Nice. Uh, I'm in a weird place these days. It's not like me to tell these kind of tales. Or to launch into soppy monologues, really. Just forget it. No, I think it's a beautiful story. And it gives me an idea. I think of another career for you. Please share, Lua. You're doing both of us a solid. <laughs> Go on, then. Well, maybe it's because I looked at so many of them recently. But apparently, film is making a big comeback for wedding pictures. It's what you said, it captures the light beautifully, and it's more personal sort of approach. Maybe I should try that. Who, me? No, the other vampire is looking for a new line of work. I think you got the wrong guy here, Lua. I know I'm disgustingly sentimental these days, but I'm not that far gone. Attending one wedding gives me cavities, <laughs> let alone several per month. Oh well, forget about it then. No, 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 don't forget it, uh, about it at all. It would be perfect for you. Come on, Hyde. I know you like to play strong and sarcastic, but you are sentimental. And you love to chat people up. You'd solve all the bar bridesmaids drama and offend the parents. <laughs> but most importantly, you'd do something for these people that they'll never forget. They'll look at your pic pictures your whole life, their whole lives. If that's not leaving a mark, I don't know what is. You're assuming they won't get divorced. Well, I don't know if this is the right topic for Miss Lua. <laughs> it's all right, some marriages end in divorce, but that doesn't change anything, does it? Whether a marriage lasts for a few months or several decades, Weddings is still an unforgettable moment in someone's life. That career in the Mafia is looking really up with the Mafia dwarves. <laughs> You're helpless. I'm falling asleep in my chair now, so I'm going to head back. Do whatever you want, you thick skulled vampire. Just don't say you stay out too late, okay? I love Lua's phone. It's just it's got the little horns on her phone. <laughs> That's my cue as well. I have some thinking to do. And maybe some talking. Thanks again, Hyde. And good luck. I hope your next adventure is a good one. It will be. Good night, Lua. Good night, Bisbee. See you later. Good night, you two. Here we go again, last one sitting. 
Indeed, proper night owls. You didn't say anything about that wedding photographer idea. It's ridiculous, right? That's enough for me to say, but I wouldn't call it ridiculous. It sounds like you enjoyed the whole film photography experience. And you do like being around people, don't you? I do sometimes, but I'm not a romantic. People get married, they think they're taking the first step into forever. Well, there's no such thing as forever. Everyone ends up disappointed in some way, and then next thing you know- Wow, Hyde! Wait, wait! <laughs> Hang on a second, Hyde. <laughs> you're, you're just- He gave the advice, and then he now he's like- <laughs> I don't want to sound too depressing. So you don't believe in love? Of course I do, but only a certain kind. You can choose to keep supporting someone to enjoy their company. You can do that for years with friends, family, lovers. But at the end of the day, you're still you, a separate person. <laughs> and there's still them, so there's no two souls becoming one, not really. I know. the. The one time I tried, it really didn't work out. But you, you don't... Do you regret trying? No, I guess I don't. It confirmed for me that marriage and the like is never going to be my thing. And there's freedom in knowing that about myself. It's given me the space to build other relationships that work much better. But at the same time, when I see people who truly believe it, People who walk into it willing to share their lives so closely, even if for most of them it won't pan out, there's something beautiful there. Like watching a butterfly fly too close to a flame, or a flower bloom like it will never wilt. This has got a point. <laughs> well, in my case, I signed off my wings, but I'm still here. Singed off my wings, okay. And on that day, for that minute when I said we'd be together forever and meant it, I sure felt, I sure felt alive. Well, if you know all that then, you must also know that it's something worth celebrating. It's something worth helping other people celebrate. <laughs> You're a tricksy one, Miss B. And I'm too tired to fight your logic. <laughs> Which is, yeah. Which means it's time for me to head back. Of course, Mr. Hyde. And I meant to say I appreciate our one-on-one -on -one chats. I hope we can keep I hope we can keep providing you with a comfortable space here. And correct um, drinks at some point. <laughs> oh, it's plenty comfortable for sure. Besides, well, it all boils down to this, doesn't it? The way time passes for me is very different from anyone else I know. Thank goodness Gala, Gala is from a long-living species, but even then he'll grow old before I do eventually. The world will change a hundred times, technologies will die out, new technologies will come. I will feel again the way I feel now in a century, maybe two. And Lua and Gala won't be around to give me advice. The world won't wait for me. But you will, am I right, Miss B? <sighs> Does he know? Does he know what I am? <laughs> oh, is there no music? Oh, thank you. I must have hit it. I must have hit. I, I muted the mic and I must have hit muted the music too. Thank you. Oh, dang. That's very perceptive of you, Mr. Hyde. Okay, so last the last stream we ended it when amanda in her in her cute little spacesuit and um who used to be neil but now he's silver walked out and after they left miss b the barista said have a good night brother or it was nice to see you brother or something like that and i was like wait <laughs> is miss b an alien <laughs> Now I'm like, is she a vampire? I don't know. Oh my gosh. I hope you can hear the music now. I apologize for that. 
Hey, you've grown to know me quite well. It's only fair that I know you a little in return. I suppose that's true. So anyway, I'm looking forward to that, to continuing our story. It's nice to know that no matter how much time passes, there's always going to be someone here rooting for me. <sighs> Thank you for your trust, Mr. Hyde. We'll make sure it's not misplaced. I know you will. On that note, I guess, I guess I'm going to go browse for some film cameras. What's the worst that can happen? Indeed. Take care of yourself, friend. And you as well. Oh, dang. The world won't wait for you, Mr. Hyde. But some of us will. <laughs> she says that like right after. Oh my gosh. go through this day and then um, it'll be done for the day and see if there's anybody to raid but just throwing that out there um, Thursday September 28th 2023 the evening whispers new image of recognition tech confuses gnomes with dwarves a review <laughs> oh no <laughs> no Yeah, I accidentally booped that. <laughs> Robux asked to give ultimate advice. Uh-oh. Elven burnout is real. Here's how to avoid it. I think when I did the raid video, I messed that up. <laughs> Georgie! Oh, okay, let's check our uh, tomato chill. So these are like being updated. Okay. A girl always has her secrets. Okay, she's doing the new single. Um, top of the moon into y'all. <laughs> I'm over to feel awesome. Okay, Lucas. Myrtle. Just spent almost two hours checking on the mobile games in the app store. The amount of copycat games is just staggering. She is our computer whiz. No delivery time today. Okay, so... Alright, so Riona's is all about her, her job and her delivery and the roads if they're good or bad. Okay, I get it now. How are you doing? Officer? Oh, sorry. My mind is kind of elsewhere right now. No worries, work issues? Yes. I'm all ears if you want to chat. You're a pal. I want a real mind, Miss B. What happens? Well, never any workplace issues aside. Things are getting weirder by the minute, and I feel out of my depth. Are you talking about your recent patrols? Yeah. I've been analyzing the CCTV footage the last couple of days. Oh, I see. How did that go? Did the cameras manage to capture anything? Yes and no. The infrared, infrared caught a couple of blurry things. They ran off, turned a corner, and disappeared. Could have been anything, like rats or cats. But neither fits with what I heard on the scene. Footsteps, you know, and laughter. Come to think of it, it sounded more like giggles. Giggles? Can werebees get a giggle? <laughs> Not at that size, no. Even if they could, it doesn't explain the footsteps really. I see ghosts. It's ghosts, Georgie. <laughs> so what next? I have some ideas, but they're just wild theories at this point. In short, I'm stumped. You know, Miss B. I've been racking my brain ever since Miss Riona dropped that bomb about the fairies, you see. Oh, what about them? 
As it turns out, Farius was an umbrella term for many types of beings. Anything that didn't fit the known physical rules at the time was being referred to as such. Oh. Does that mean banshees were a part of the fairy folk? Probably. Not anymore, though. It's an ongoing process, but the list is getting shorter. <laughs> oh my gosh, Boba sounds so good right now! <laughs> Oh my goodness. I haven't had boba since I had it when I visited. I should like find a place around here that does it. Okay, let's see. Apparitions. Okay, so he is he is considering ghosts. Yes. Apparitions like ghosts. <laughs> I love how it thunders every time you say ghost. What do you mean I see? Uh, doesn't it sound like a bad joke to you? Uh, I'm not sure I follow. Ghosts don't exist. Do they? Because <laughs> if they do, all I can think about is that tree now. All right, the tree. Does that mean it's haunted? It could be? <laughs> Don't get how you can be so calm about this. Um, well, is, oh, isn't this be a ghost? She could be an alien, she could be a vampire, she could be a ghost. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? I mean, there have been all sorts of customers here. Some of them are so out of this world even, sometimes literally. You're right. I guess you're not the one who's being weird here. Don't say that. Everyone has their own... What the heck is that word? Peccadillos? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that word in my life. Okay, uh, if you don't mind telling me though, may I ask the reason you're so afraid of ghosts? Gosh, though. That's a long story. Not something I'm ready to talk about anyway. It's understandable, but you're gonna tell me. <laughs> I'm just real bad at dealing with spooks. They made me question everything I ever know, you know? But I always thought you're pretty good at handling Biggity officer, see I can't I can't pronounce stuff today. <laughs> not when it comes to supernatural stuff. But we don't know about what's real and what's not. What they what will they do? Will they hurt us? Do they bring bad luck? Good luck. What's the truth? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe you should take a day off and check catch up on your sleep. Oh, what's that? No, oh, nothing. You know, another patron of mine suggested a documentary to watch. Yeah. The focus was on interesting drinks from around the world. You could find everything from the mundane to the extreme. From local comforts to really special stuff. And I kept thinking of one particular drink that might interest you. Something like a protection drink. It's made of coffee, honey, lemon, and a slew of other ingredients. Protection from what though? Evil spirits and bad luck, I think. Maybe it'll help ease your mind a bit. Ah, uh, gotcha. But Miss B, even though if the whole situation is or haunted, there shouldn't be any evil spirits. Well, they are slashing tires. <laughs> okay, then make me this magical drink you learned, Miss B. What? Okay, what? Coffee, honey, lemon. We're really just uh, making him believe. <laughs> right? It was on fire. Here you go. Careful. Dang it, Miss B. This is really something else. You sure it's okay to drink? I have no idea, but 
but I'll take responsibility if anything happens. <laughs> so I just made him a magical tea that will protect him. Am I a witch? Am I a wizard? Am I a sorceress? <laughs> I'm just feeling silly, aren't I? Sorry for bothering you with all this stuff, Miss B. You even made this crazy drink to make me feel better. Don't say that. I'm always happy to help however I can. Thanks, man. At least with the crooks, you can actually deal directly with them, you know? Not the case with apparitions. Not with that attitude. Who are you? I have no idea who this person is. <laughs> Everything can be caught with a little elbow grease. Not actual elbow grease. I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> McQueen? Is that you? Who's McQueen? Hello, Williams. It's been a while. It is you! The surprises just keep coming this week. Let me go over there. You know each other? More or less. We were brunch buddies. Brunch buddies? Brunch buddies. <laughs> I feel like that I meant to say brunch buddies in the same serious tone, but I don't like to talk about it. I still get nightmares. I feel you. I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. We truly were the lucky ones. Without a doubt. I'll just take both of your words for it. Good, because I don't like to talk about it. So what brings you here, detective? Oh, he's a detective. Okay. Surely it's not the coffee. Secret police reasons. I've not read the briefing yet, but enough about me. Tell me about your supernatural problems. Yeah? You need to bust a ghost? Oh. Ghost busting. <laughs> Might be a bit much. I was just talking to Miss B about getting over my fear of that stuff. And ghosts. Something like that. I'm weak against ghostly looking stuff. I get freaked out easily. For example, I admit I get a little spooked by what happened on Bourne Street the other day. Yeah, I remember that. I know it very well. Oh my gosh, he does look like Mulder. <laughs> oh my goodness. Huh. I know very well that unchecked fear leads to prejudice. That's why it's a no-no in my book. It even pains me to admit that out loud. Sometimes the toughest case to crack is ourselves. Other times it's ghosts. How do you do it, detective? Your case is, man. I'd have probably lost all my hair by now if I were you. <laughs> I try not to think about it that much. And when I do think about it, I think, who else will do it? Okay, now you got me wondering if I have my coffee sound. I do not. I need to get my coffee sound back. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. I barely heard it. I barely heard the coffee. <laughs> oh, I didn't read that. Okay, um, I remember this one case we're on investigating a haunted apartment this lady her husband had recently passed away but wasn't moving on if you get my drift real deadbeat couldn't take a hit <laughs> anyway we had to go and and exercise the place right but the husband he's caught wind and he's retreated into the basement i won't get into the technicalities of it but it's harder to get a ghost out of a basement or an attic it's all about the angles really i mean i get it that used to be his home, all this stuff, and it's still there. It's hard. I get that. So I'm slowly going down the stairs to try to coax him out. Bam! Next minute, all this romantic music is playing, and the whole place is lit by a spotlight. Basic sensory illusions. Classic ghost tricks. And then before I know it hit me, I'm sitting at this pottery well, and he's behind me. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Oh, wow. My darling. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll spare you guys. My voice is gone and 
And I'm not a good singer anyway, so I'll spare you guys. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wait, isn't that the plot of a 1990 film Ghost? Uh oh. <laughs> We had a movie night at work and I dozed off before it started. The story must have slipped into my subconscious. Riveting. Dang. Okay. Hey people, I don't know. <laughs> did you get your important errand started? Sorted. I sure did. Du Duly, I can see the crumbs stuck to your face. <laughs> That's just the rain. It's very bready rain. Oh my god. Hold on, my nose is running like the rain in the background. There's filling all over your top. <laughs> That's blood from a gunshot wound. It's filled up the... He's, he's good, he's good. You're literally holding the receipt from the donut shop. <laughs> That's why they pay you the big bucks, detective. So what I miss? We're here talking about getting rid of Off Officer Williams' fear of ghosts. Ghosts? Yeah, you're afraid of him, right, Julie? No, I mean, it was itchy. No idea, never met one. We stopped a ghost riot. <laughs> Ghosts aren't real. So you don't need to be scared of them. Easy. Uh, there you go, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't much help. Yeah. What you said, they're just like us. That's a good thing to be reminded of. Exactly, they used to be alive, just like us. <laughs> As long as they don't try to eat, possess, violently murder you, you should be fine. Very reassuring. Just talk to them. Feel their culture, listen to their issues, and spectral whales. <laughs> Treat them like any other person. See what's on the inside. Which is easy, since you can see through them. <laughs> I thought you didn't believe in ghosts. It's best not to overthink anything he says. I certainly don't. <laughs> well, thanks for the advice. I think it'll help. Our pleasure. Now, Dooley, I think we should read that case briefing and find out why we're here. I already did. Oh. Turns out we we're meant to arrest the person driving that taxi. Instead of, instead of taking it all the way to Seattle? Yes. Why? The driver was a chupacabra. <laughs> oh no. It's chupacabra. Oh my gosh, that was such a dad joke. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here, Dooley. Good luck, officer. Thanks, McQueen. You too, officer Dooley. Bye, guy. Good luck with your rat problem or whatever. Hey, anyway, dude, buy coffee. How rude. <laughs> Ooh, buy coffee, wizard? Am I a wizard? I'm like trying to guess what my barista is. That was quite something. Well, what do you know, Miss B? Looks like my good luck is back. I feel like a million bucks now. I'm very glad you do. Thanks anyway, Miss B. I really didn't, did nothing much. Are you going to be okay? Okay enough to start thinking about what to do next. I'm done here for the night. You have a good evening, all right? Please keep me updated, officer, and stay safe. Call the Ghostbusters if you need them. Do we have any more stories? Oh. Do you know why the setters from France are more... See, I don't know how to say that word, because every time I look it up, how to, how to say it? Because they have French horns. Oh my god. Okay. Alright then. Maybe I'll go check the stock end. Oh. Ghost? Um. Oh! <laughs> Riona, welcome! How's the traffic out there? It's a mess. The 
construction work is taking place on Lenora Avenue. Oof. I can imagine the gridlock already. Fortunately, I have no deliveries to make today. That's great. I'm happy you're here. So anything I can make for you this evening? Since I had two officers in that came to talk and not order coffee. <laughs> oh, okay. So she wants the um, cough syrup. So green tea, lemon, and honey. you want lemon lemon and honey <laughs> what you're right I they never want me to remake it so I don't know what I did wrong oh yeah you just missed officer Georgie by a few seconds is that so how is he okay now I'm just like really Wondering what I messed up on that. Okay. He's currently dealing with plenty of clues he isn't used to. That's why he's hard at work at the moment. See? The traffic side, how are you? Ugh. To be honest, I've had a lot on my mind of late. And I don't know how to express it without sounding pathetic. You know I'm all, e all ears. <laughs> Why is she laughing? Does it, do I have pointed ears? I am like in this zone of trying to figure out what Miss B the barista is. <laughs> that might actually be part of the problem, I'm afraid. I never had this thing of wondering in the first game what my barista species was, but ever since last weekend, I want to know now. I'm sure I could Google it or whatever, but I'm just not going to. Um, I've had conversations with individuals over the past week than I've had the past very few years. Is that a good or a bad thing? It's troubling. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I don't mean it necessarily in a negative way. It's just I used to believe that I had settled life objective, but I had been doubting it lately. How come? I finally heard back from Miss Rachel yesterday. Oh, any good news? No. Our fields are admittedly quite different, so I was not expecting much. However, she provided me with some contacts who might be of assistance. Even though they had no direct connection to the audience I'm trying to reach, I see. She explained clearly that she thinks I should contact them, however, which I am thankful for. That is thoughtful of Rachel, thinking of others. So, what's the battle plan? And why are you doubting yourself? In essence, the advice is to slowly increase my network to make myself known. Oh. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> you could probably guess my concern about it. I think so, but you could give me a refresher. Just so I don't misunderstand. I feel like that would be a shortcut, so to speak. Right. She did, however, remind me of an important humbling fact. What would that be? Well, uh, but it's not guaranteed you'll get anything out of it, don't you think? Unless you're really, really sure the so-called shortcut is 100% gonna work. Because you'll have to do way, way more than just making a few calls or waiting for callbacks, you know? I say that's a decent impression of her. Thank you. After that, she told me a story of her early career experience, both good and bad. Getting notice is truly only the beginning. Then it is either a matter of letting your talent speak to you, or you go out there to develop connections with the right people. Even then, there's still no guarantee of success. After listening to her explanation, I respect Miss Rachel's determination. I can certainly see how it worked out for her. Then I was left wondering whether Mr. Lucas met something similar during our first meeting. 
Right, I thought it sounded familiar. Will you try her suggestion then? I don't know. Is it difficult? No more difficult than sending reels to every audition I've come across. Being rejected by every single one. <laughs> but for some reason I feel... I feel conflicted about it. Speaking of Mr. Lucas, he and I have also continued our correspondence. Although perhaps it was more like a necessity. Oh, did something happen? He was stuck? Pardon? Actually, he posted about it on social media last night. Oh. I might have seen it. Did you? Uh, did I? <laughs> I think so. anything about being stuck. Came across it when I was updating my schedule and responded out of concern. Then he called me almost immediately. He was loud. All sounds in order. <laughs> Extremely drunk. Really? He denied it at first. But I was too obvious not to notice. He told me he was walking aimlessly deep in thought and entered Cary Park without realizing he had done so must have been some deep thinking he was doing because I think it rained pretty hard last night. Well, I wouldn't know. The bus to and from there is currently not operated after 10 p.m. Which is why I sent him a message informing him of that fact and he seemed to be unaware of it. Nice. So he called me to ask if there was any other mode of public transport nearby. Wouldn't it be easier for him to just call a cab? He told me he wanted to know the city better at midnight. Why not? After all, you operate business after the dark yourself. Touche. <laughs> Perhaps he just didn't want to go home yet. And I might be mistaken here, but I thought he doesn't like drinking. Wasn't it party? Nevertheless, I think last night was quite different. Hmm. It appears he had dinner with his team, and he needed extra courage in order to negotiate with them about his proposed new direction. Oh, okay. I see. I suppose it didn't go as expected. Perhaps. And I know that feeling all too well. Miss... However, he said he will keep negotiating until they reach a compromise. That's good. It is, though. Oh, dang. Miss Rachel told me about the hops she had to jump through. The hoops. <laughs> hops. She had to jump through at the beginning of her career with her teammates as well. Likewise, Mr. Lucas has to work hard and obtain approval from his team for his actions. I just... How can they still be so positive? What do you mean? I just can't picture myself convincing others to give me a chance like that. I almost wanted to ask, why do we have to be at the mercy of others in order to succeed or fail? Can talent just speak for itself? But if I truly believe that, with the number of rejections I have received so far, I should have stopped a long time ago, shouldn't I? Right, that's why it doesn't work that way. What do you mean? To let talent speak for itself, we would all have to have the same standards. I see what you mean. Art would cease to be art if we were standardized, wouldn't it? However, doesn't that imply that everything still depends on the lens of the individual judging of you at the moment? I have this issue about moving the, <laughs> the mouse around while I'm reading, so I apologize for that if it bugs anyone. <laughs> How does someone like Rachel or Mr. Lucas manage to be fine with that? Hmm. Perhaps because they don't see it as a be-all and end-all. What do you mean? Rather than viewing them as judges with authority and determine their fates, perhaps they simply see them as hills to either overcome or avoid, if that makes sense. Just a matter of perspective as to where the power lies. But it's not easy to climb those hills, especially if you've never done it before. Therefore, it's good to try and find out what works for you, or ask for guidance or assistance even. Because one cannot possibly know every single way to overcome obstacles. 
or to be able to safely recognize warning signs without the first learning about them from others. Is that what you're trying to say? I see. Still. Miss B giving out the, <laughs> the advice. Her and I should work together. Um, Miss Riona? Oh, yes. Sorry, I got a bit lost in my thoughts. You're fine, I promise. Except for the bad drink I supposedly gave you that was wrong, which I don't think it was wrong, but whatever. <laughs> I should go for now. All right. Will you be okay? I am. I have a lot to think about. Thank you for being patient with my concerns, Miss B. No problem at all. Anytime. Have a good evening, then, Miss B. Come back again soon. I wonder what that dinging and the ding the ringing was, and then we didn't see our cat. We haven't seen our cat this stream. Our cat has not come in. Oh, maybe it was Zobo. What is in Zobo? Hibiscus ginger times two. No, that wouldn't have been it. Man. <laughs> I'm the worst barista ever, but at least they they get to get through all of their, their everything that they have issues with and oh my goodness. And the next time we get on, it will be Friday, September 29th, 2023. So, thank you all for being here. Thank you everyone for the raids. I really, really, really appreciate y'all. And dealing with some of my technical stuff that I've... <laughs> I always have technical stuff. I'm the glitch queen, of course. So, <laughs> let's see who we can raid on over to and spread the love. Thank you for the raids, the the subs and just lurking and chilling with me this Sunday. This is a very, this is like the chillest game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> so, but um, here is some info. Oops, that's L A N K S. If you want to know anything more about me, you can go to my link tree. Um, I have a website. I some I'm mo the only thing I really update on that is my schedule. So if you want to know if I'm having like if it's chemo, the chemo weekend where I'm not streaming or something like that, you can go there and check. Or I have a Discord also. And um, let's see if there's anyone we can raid today. <laughs> Odie! Odie is on. Let's see. See, I say it that way and then I just, I have to raid him. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Odie is playing Mass Effect 3, which I don't know if he's doing the multiplayer or the actual game multiplayer. He's doing the multiplayer, and I love Mass Effect 3, and the multiplayer is a lot of fun. So, I mean, that's completely different than what we just <laughs> did, but um, yes, have a nice Sunday, everyone. And um, let's see. Here's our little raid call if you want to copy and paste that in to his stream. And um, like I said, Wednesday night, Valentine's Day, I will be streaming. Um, I believe we will finish Baldur's Gate 3 with our Renegade Sorceress. Um, so like I said, Eldridge Brain and Valentine's Day just goes together, right? <laughs> um, it's like kind of a special stream because I don't stream during the week normally. Um, next Saturday and Sunday, no stream, because I have cancer treatment on Friday. And Monday's a recovery day, which is iffy. I might stream during the day. Just everyone's at work, but <laughs> it gets my schedule back on track. Um, the weekend after that, we are doing a charity stream um, for One Up on Cancer. One Up on Cancer is an organization that helps adults like me that are going through cancer and have medical bills, which are insane. <laughs> I can tell you, I, they are insane, uh, but they help. Um, I haven't had to use their services yet, but they help adults pay their cancer bills. So they're a really good organization and um, we will be raising money for them on Saturday and Sunday, the 24th and 25th. And hopefully, 
I will have it up on Bonfire where we can get t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, and hoodies for adults and kids that will be for sale that all the profit will go to uh, the charity. So yeah, <laughs> that's what's going on. But um, we are going to raid Odie, head on over there. I won't be able to stay too long, but um, we'll hop over and say hi. And yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your night and good start to your week. And we shall see you later. Thank you.